Hello, welcome to Returning a Favor, a fan mission for the gold, a murder mystery by Morgan. I'm going to play this on hard, I think. Well, well, I'll double check that when we see the objectives. But let's just go straight into it. Hard and expert have don't kill anyone, so I might as well go for. Yeah, I'll stick on hard. Whether I get the loot, all the loot or not, um, I guess is the question. So this one doesn't have an a, a uh, actual briefing animation. So here's a briefing text from the readme. Uh, this is a letter from a brother Lucas. It's been a while, Garrett, but surely not long enough for you to have forgotten. I understand those maps of Red Mound Monastery were of great aid to you. Now I need a favour in return. Things have changed since we last met. I have risen in the ranks and today I am a priest of the Builder, second in command at Highwater Power Station. My life would be enjoyable indeed were it not for the man I have had to share a room with since he was promoted. Brother Merlon is not a well-liked man, as he has furthered his career at any cost, usually at the expense of others. Or was, I should say. He was found dead yesterday in the station's library. Murdered. As I was seen returning to our room that night by one of the guards, I am now under suspicion. I have claimed I was out for a walk, but that leaves me with no alibi. This is nevertheless better, for the truth would surely lead to my execution. I did not murder Merlon, for I was in the company of a woman that night, someone I have been seeing for some time now. A relationship like this is of course unacceptable for a priest, and the tenets are very clear on the consequences. My whereabouts that night must not be known. An investigator from the local temple is arriving today, and I fear he will have me arrested. The surest way to relieve me of suspicion is to find the murderer. I need you to have a look around the station. I do not doubt the investigator will do his best, but he may not be able to go to, or even think of looking in all the places your skills can get you. Of course, I must request you do not harm any of my brethren while doing so. I will likely be detained by the time you get here, but find me anyway. I will give you more information and maps of the station. You can reach the station unnoticed through a secret passage in the sewers. So, our objectives. Meet up with Brother Lucas in order to receive additional information. There's been enough murder in the station already. Don't kill anyone. Lucas didn't say anything about avoiding the gold. Get 750 in loot. Once you're finished here, leave the way you came. Hey, what do you start off with? A bunch of broadheads, lockpicks, four more arrows, invitation. Alright, I'll have to read that in a second. Uh, it might just be the same text, I'll find out. Flash, one flash bomb, four water arrows, three rope arrows. I would like... Oh, we've got lots of money, 650. In fact, almost as much as we're supposed to collect. Uh, which is ironic. Uh, I would like some more water arrows, because I don't know how many torches I'm going to need to put out. But, you know, it's usually more than one. I may get caught and injured. I'll take a healing potion. And I'll take one more flash bomb for getting out of sticky situations. Let's see how we go with that. First things first, start a new save. Now let's just check this invitation from Rod Lucas. Yeah, so this is just the same text as the briefing. Alright, I've just read that. If I'd known it was in the mission, I would uh, not have... I would have waited till this point to read it, but that's alright. Let us find our way through the secret door that is a very, very secret into this power station. Already I can hear someone. Where are they? Must someone come? No. Twas no one coming. Like, I put this torch out, but there's a, not a lot damn light right there, an electric one. Uh, there's something else down here. I could hear some whistling, and don't think it was this man. Yeah, there's at least two of them. Hmm. He comes back. I'll just wait till he starts going up the stairs and then dart up behind him, I think. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, I need a flag because it's going to come here very soon. Oh, and it's not dark here. I thought it was dark here. Let's make it dark there. At least I can hide here and observe. Well, this fellow patrolling. I guess the other fellow I'm hearing must be upstairs. Wow, this thing's through. I guess by that cell. There's no one? Just a rat? Mm -hmm. There's nothing there now. I think. Mm -hmm. oh, I saw. Oh, it's right up there. Uh, so much for being observant. But uh, he seems as unobservant as I was. So he did not notice his fellow collapsing unconscious to the ground. That's good news for me. What have we got here? Just some. Oh, that looks loot. That looks valuable. And the rest looks irrelevant. Just creep around in the dark again. Oh, he does turn around. Okay, let's. Okay, he's right around the beat. Okay. I see a note on the wall. I'm just going to check what other things are here before I scoot back. Are you still not looking this way? What does this note say? Workers at High Water Power Station. Due to the recent mishap in Section 2, I have ordered that all work points must be equipped with a water crystal in case of emergencies. Chief Engineer Marvigil. Oh, handy for me. Uh, that's uh, lots of water crystals for me then. Is that a work point? Does that have one I missed? Let's quickly check. Right. Is he facing this way? So hard to tell. Yes, he is. I need to wait for him to turn around and then I can, uh, can hopefully make my way up there. There's a doorway there. I don't know where it goes. There's a further floor. Alright, let's. Uh, he's not looking away. Right. If I'll be there, bespeak thyself. I be not here. I will not bespeak myself. It seems quiet enough now. Tis and well. <coughs> Tis the builder's piece. Ready to rain. Hey! How did you see me? This is a dilemma. Well, they can't get me here, fortunately, but I might just have to. Uh, Use one of my flash bombs. Think thou shalt oh, he didn't flash him. Oh damn it! I fell behind him. Ouch! Ouch! He's stuck. Go away! Ow! I wasted my flash bombs, and you're not unconscious. What can I do here? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I could just run. Maybe they'll think I'm the murderer. But can I escape him? I'm gonna run into more people, no doubt. That's locked. Ouch. Oh no, no, ouch. That's, that's fortunate. No, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm here. It's also locked. Ah, oh, that's dead. Don't come for me. That one's not locked. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's someone else in there. Great. Uh. Hmm. I'm not allowed to kill anyone, otherwise I would have a way out of the situation. As it is, I am. Um... No, you need from here. Oh, oh. Well, uh, good work, Garrett. Especially wasting those two flash bombs. Like, one of those should have been enough to get me out of the situation, but uh, was not. And there is someone else there who saw me, and that's why he got a letter. Okay. Be more careful next time, Master Thief. Hello? Jump. Quick. Pick him up. Give him to a dark corner. Alright. 
comes this other fellow. But I think he's alone. So he should not trouble me. Once he starts to go back. What is that? Nothing. So I wonder what they're going to believe about this uh, murder. Oh, nice. Gold glasses. About the so-called murderer when uh, they discover that everyone in the power plant is uh, unconscious. Who knows? Will they believe any evidence at all? A voltage. Oh, here is a workstation without a water crystal. Maybe it's not a workstation. Uh, nothing there for me that I can see. Alright, where does this door go? It's locked, it's bright. Uh, locked is okay, bright is not. Well, I'm gonna need a key for it anyway. I uh, don't have much of a map, I didn't even check my map before. But I do need to find uh, the brother Lucas where he's been imprisoned. So I'm just somewhere in the power station. Don't have a more detailed map of the place yet. So this door up here is locked. What? There was a sign next to it. Engineer's quarters. Do I think that's likely to be Brother Lucas in there? I mean, it's also locked, but possibly I can pick this one. Nope. I cannot pick it. Well, that leaves me with just one door to go through. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a jail cell. Ah, he, the master thief. There is scant time to explain. Take this key and map and go. May the builder guide your steps. <clears throat> Hey, it was nothing. All is silence now. <clears throat> As always. That's what I was waiting for. For oh, thou to look so lookest in the opposite direction and to hidest asleep in this dark corner. Thank you, brother Lucas, for the key and the note. Garrett, I will tell you what I know of what has happened in the past few days. But I will start by giving you a little background. Brother Merlon was an infuriating man. Just a few days before his death, I found out that he was after my position as treasurer and supervisor of the Acolytes. He accused me of embezzling money from the station's fund. An outright lie, just like that. I have been second in command here at the station for several years, and Master Forger Canthus trusts me. Canthus has given me the benefit of the doubt, but I am sure that the investigator will think it's a motive once he finds out about this. As for the murder itself, I cannot say much. I understand Berlon was hit on the head and then fell over the balcony in the library. I myself did not see anything suspicious when I returned that night. Speaking of that, I need you to do me another favour. I have kept some letters sent to me by Giselle. They're hidden in a secret compartment in my room. The investigator, Brother Naticus, might find them if he searches the room. Take those letters and destroy them. The switch for the compartment is located near the windows. Find the real murderer and I will be freed. I'm afraid I cannot suggest other possible sub suspects, for Merlon angered many at this station. Perhaps reading the notes on the case by Naticus or investigating the crime scene will help you get started. However, Naticus doesn't seem to have any major leads, so you will probably need to look elsewhere as well. I have included some maps of the station with this note. Good luck, Garrett. Lucas. Some the maps. Okay. So. Uh... Elevated ground floor, find me here. Well, I've found here. Warehouses. Workshops, uh, two quarters of the engineers. This is where we entered, I think. Stairs to ground floor. Loft. Stairs to ground floor, quarters of the engineers. Uh, to dining hall. Where's the library? Where is the crime scene? Oh, we have another map, okay. Stairs and loft to basement. Oh, so this is the basement and loft, right. So there is the main Area of the power station. Stores, any old chapel, quarters of the master forger, courses of the priests, courses of the guards, etc. Library, murdered here. You've got very, very fancy handwriting for a prisoner, Brother Lucas. I guess you have a lot of time to embellish. Well, I shall try to free you if I can. I'm curious also what is in that book mm -hmm. on your bed. But I guess I'll find out if I free you. 
What's in here? Can I can I open this? No. Oops. By the builder's hand. Yeah, by the builder's hand. What a waste. Wait, what is the key that you gave me? The stairwell key. So that should take me to the stairwell. That leads up to. Oh, what's this key? Warehouse lockup one key. Oh, that'll be for this. Anything in here? Some crates. Hmm. Seems naught else. I should probably better close it in case anyone's suspicious. We don't know. In case they're suspicious that somebody's been here when everybody's unconscious. They might be very suspicious indeed. Alright, we have the elevator up to the main place. Uh, it looks very light up there with an electric light. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to take the stairwell. Goodbye for now, Brother Lucas. Mayhap I shall find thee innocent, and thou shalt be freed. And the other words with pest and F. Okay, this must be the stairwell that I could not open before. Yeah, looks, looks scary. Anything under here? Uh, it does not appear to be any anything of value dropped under the stairs by accident. I also cannot hear anyone, which is also good news. Right, so this is the ground floor. If we keep going up, we'll get to the loft that connects to the dining hall. Or looks, overlooks the dining hall, I guess. Let's try checking out the loft. Shouldn't be anyone there, right? Seems like a storage room. Shouldn't be anything but a tiny little statue of the builder is uh, quite fixed. Well, no, I shall need a key for the loft. Oh, good to know. Nothing about. I don't think I have the key to the engineer's quarters yet either. Well, there's something buggy about the sound on that. It's really quiet, but it is locked. And I have the key. People walking about just there. Somewhere. And all this electric light. Alright. Some darkness. Why am I hearing footsteps so loud? Is somebody actually walking through this room? We are in the stores room. Another small room there in the dining hall that way. Hmm. Not dark enough. It's darker now. What's this sign say? Acolytes on kitchen duty. The cold storage is not to be used until permission is given by the master forger as it is temporarily holding the body of Brother Merlin. Until then, you must make do with what supplies are on the shelves in the rest of the storeroom. Brother Lucas. Well, this acolyte is uh, coming too close. He shall sleep. I wonder... Uh, so... I expect I will need a key here as well, right? Oh no. This one can be picked. Ooh, slippery floor, it's all icy. Right, we have the body. We have you the know you hand. can't take it with you. But I can. Yeah. Shall we tamper with the evidence? Uh, I didn't really mean to take the body, I wanted to examine it. Alright, well, someone's going to wonder how he slipped and fell onto the floor. Yeah. Now, I can't move her properly on this floor, but I can grab some deer legs from the upper shelf. But I can't actually climb. Oh, it seems nobody else is coming to the storage room. There's another guard there to worry about, but let's steal some cheese first, you know. Most important things. No 
more stores of value. Okay, let's slip into this dark nook. Keep cautiously proceeding till we find out where these people are and which way they're looking. Dining hall, is that there? Looking the other Who way. Who passes there? Twas no one. A plague on these rats. <coughs> He's very observant, um, which is not good for me. Well, there's no one else here, so I think he will have to succumb. <coughs> Go fall in the fire, good boy. Come back to this dark corner, and may the rats that you cursed a plague upon nibble at you. And I will vandalize your establishment. Oh jeez! And some cucumbers. Not the knife. Mmm. Barrett will be well fed tonight, if nothing else. Fire! Doesn't look like there's enough of a chimney hole to climb up, or for there to be any kind of secret passage there. Just say, a little wine makes my thoughts run smoother, like well-oiled gears. May I request that a bottle is delivered to the library, Brother Naticus. Naticus is the investigator, uh, so he must be hiding in the library. Let's take this bottle of wine, it looks pricey. What have we got on top of the mantelpiece? Nothing that interests me now. Out of pure spite, I don't know, habit, I'm going to chop these down, but I don't expect the hammers to hide stuff behind them. That's not really their style, particularly. What I do want to do is get on top of these beams and see if I can get into, find a way from them up to the loft. It's the key to the loft. The door is locked and I needed a key that I did not have. To see what might be another passageway there. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's stay away to the loft, indeed. So, what happens here? I don't know how you can stand those rafters, Gerald. Heights make me dizzy. And you have to get up an hour earlier than everyone else. Why didn't you ask for kitchen duty like me? We get all the leftovers, David. It's a really good question, Gerald. Uh, library paste. What is library paste? I don't know. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regiments, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 2. Can the thief to cry false, uh, master, release me for... Uh, yeah, this is being chopped up to pieces. Uh... Hmm. C.G. False... Uh, me... Doesn't even seem to be a secret message. Hmm. Mm. Mm, indeed. What about this book? So who's been chopping books? Well, I can't read this one. Well, this might be relevant, but I can't make sense of it right now. I shall just remember that it is here. But that makes uh, Gerald perhaps suspicious if he's chopping up books for clues. I don't know. He's certainly up to something. It might well not be murder, but it is something. Right, let's try the other door. Let's see if we can use rafters to sneak about a little with fewer unconscious victims than we've had so far. I thought I heard something. And the word went forth. So this will be the whole way here. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet, yet also with the Odd sound propagation again. No matter. However, there seems to be a lot of room on these rafters. There is a dark spot on the carpet there, but not here near the door that I want to open. I want to find out what this room is. Maybe from quick. But with bathrooms. Bollocks. Not really uh, exciting at all. Also not where I expect to find loot, just poop. Set the lights on or off? 
I need them. Anyone drop any loot in here? Or just more poop? Just more hammer out poop. Well, he didn't see me at least, so that's good. But what am I going to do now? I guess I'll make a run for it. Yeah, there's someone else there. Oh, he's about to come back. Problem solved. Right. Let's go back to the rafters. Uh, seems better. For purposes of scouting. So lazy, I don't see why I should be the one to be put with these incompetent people. They're no, quite right. Also, where did you go? Oh, there you are. I don't see why you should be the one to be put with these incompetent people either. They're so stupid and lazy. And he keeps going. Where are we now? We are just north of the chapel. What's well, the library you want to get to? I don't really want to go this way yet. So there's a guard posted in front of the library. I suppose to stop anybody from disturbing Brother Naticus. I think that was his name. Some notice on the door there to the main gates. <coughs> Is that me? Hey, it's about the wind. Vigilance is our shield. Right, here is the library. Where is our investigating friend? It's too light up here for my lucky. I heard some footsteps, but I cannot see anyone. There's another small room up here. He might be there. There's the balcony that our uh, unfortunate victim was pushed off. Oh, there he is. There's the investigator. Exercising, stretching his arms, not really investigating much, is he? Do I have to knock him senseless? I don't know, but I would like a, bit, a little more darkness in this room. Better. And oh, that's under here, so let's try to get down onto this bit of carpet. He's muttering to himself. I don't really trust myself to jump around here very safely. That is not Brother Naticus whispering. Oh, he had a library key. Nice. I presume this is Brother Naticus, so I don't know for sure, but he's the only one who should have been in here. We have some very ghostly whisperings. Let's take his wine and another key. Priest quarters. Let's see what he's written here. The murder of Brother Melon, Highwater Power Station. Melon was last seen alive at evening prayer on the 12th, body discovered in the library by Brother Stola, the librarian, after morning prayer on the 13th. No accident. Head injury too severe to have been caused by the fall alone. Confirmed by Brother Lemon, the infirmary. And blood was found on the balcony. Melon's gem ring is missing, presumably stolen by the murderer. Suspects. Brother Lucas was seen by one of the night guards two hours after evening prayer. A time of night when most of breth most brethren of this power station are out to sleep. Brother Lucas claims to have been unable to sleep and that he had been out for a walk. No witnesses have come forward to confirm his movements, and therefore he has been detained in the warehouse lockup. The gem ring was not found on Lucas's person or in his quarters. Note to self, organize a complete search of the building tomorrow. Motive? Hard to say yet. The two priests did not get along, but by all accounts Melon was not popular in general. Most brethren of the station appear to have held a grudge against him. As a precaution, patrols are doubled and no one is to leave the station until the truth is found. My personal escort from the temple guards the exits. 
Addendum. I have received a letter from the Master Forger, including a letter originally written by the deceased. It seems Brother Merlin was accusing the suspect of embezzlement. Could this be the motive? We'll continue questioning tomorrow morning. When I wake up. Brother Naticus, I have found the letter I mentioned in our earlier discussion and have included it with this message. While it pains me to provide what could be used against a priest as dedicated as Brother Lucas, I feel it is my duty to assist another brother in the search for the truth in any way I can. I have also included the key to the priest's quarters. Thou hast my permission to conduct this search at thy convenience. In the name of the Builder, Master Forger Canthus. Master Forger Canthus, I have worrying news for you. I have had my suspicions for some time, but had waited for I have no proof. But as a servant of the Builder, I feel that I can wait no longer. I believe Brother Lucas is not a completely honest man as concerns his duties as treasurer. I believe he has been falsifying the records, embezzling funds for his own gain. As I said, I sadly have no proof of this yet, but I am certain that evidence would be found if you would authorize an investigation into this matter. Sincerely, Brother Merlon, the recently deceased Brother Merlon. Right. So, nothing there that really helps us much except the gem ring may be the proof we need of the murderer, if and when we find it. Uh, is there anything to investigate down here? Bloodstain. Broken uh, railing. Alright, let us go to the upper floor. Is there even a way? Oh yeah, just up the stairs. So that shouldn't be too noisy. Someone outside the door and they might hear. But hopefully they will, will stay away. And, uh, I assume, hmm, well, blood, broken railing. This is a very hefty blow to break the man's head and impart such velocity that he smashed the railing also. Anything in the bookshelves? You know the rule, you have a library, there must be a secret passage in the library, and the traditional place for the uh, trigger for such secret passages is in the bookshelves. But it appears not to be the case. Maybe I haven't searched those thoroughly. What's this room? Brother Stelder, librarian. Assume he's not in? No. He has books on his shelf, but they are irrelevant. He has a diary and a scroll. And a tiny little locked cupboard. Some more scrolls I can't read. And a chest. Well, this chest has rosary beads. I will take them. I don't know why. Maybe they're worth a penny or two. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 7. When the builder walks before thee and builds for thee a fortress, wilt thou go inside and shut the door? Or wilt thou say, yes, and now I shall raise one of mine own? Well, I don't know the answer. Librarian Stelder, I need thy help in a most delicate matter. It hath been brought to mine attention that Brother Merlon doth not possess the knowledge of the builder's tenets that is required of a priest. Our temple will surely be disgraced should this become public. Hence thou must aid Brother Merlon in his endeavours to redeem himself. He hath gladly agreed to spend all his spare hours in thy library. Our temple's name may still be saved. May the Master Builder aid us. Master Forger Canthus. Right, so he was not studying as he should. Oh, deceased fellow. I'm not sure that gives us any insight into a murder motive. Oh, I wanted to murder him because he might bring disgrace onto uh, our power station. You know, the Master Forger, perhaps. Very... Well, that was louder than I expected. That's a very uh, oblique motive for murder, really. Especially as he's already got a plan in place to remedy the situation. What are these notes that are locked away? Creepy. Creepy. The collected works of St. Thomas of Finland. And... Big and Beardy. Hmm. Right. So, just his private reading, then. On the other hand, suppose Brother Merlin had discovered these documents in the librarian's possession, then the librarian would have 
a sound motive for wanting to ensure Brother Merlin's continued silence forever. And of course, the librarian has plenty of access to the library at all times of day and night. Alright, I shall not go out by the doors, I shall try and go out the way I came in. But of course, I have important business with uh, these banners. And I should do a cursory check of these shells, just in case they haven't broken the prime rule of libraries. Yeah, yeah, ghostly mutterings. I didn't really see anything look like a secret door. I don't know why these ghostly mutterings... Well, because Brother Merlin doth rest uneasy. I don't know what I should do about it. Right, I think I'm done with the library for just now. <sighs> so, the only indication we have of anything else amiss was in the Master Forger's quarters, so maybe... Maybe that's where I should head next. I also have a key to the Priest's quarters, uh, which were for the use of Brother Naticus. But it's on the way, so I could go there sooner. Your ears are very good. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Yes. Knowledge is our weapon. Etc. Etc. Your ears are very good, but your brain is less so. You hear these ventilation doors opening and closing, and uh, do nothing about it. Did something make a noise? Yes, it was I, the master thief. Mm. Sneaking past. Is that? I think there's somebody walking at the chapel doors trying to get through and not able to open the doors properly. I can see his foot appearing. Alright. Oh, get out of my way this corner. Listen for this door! I would like to know. Well, I don't know when you're going to get your dinner. Oh, he comes all the way here. Right, so that is the priest's quarters and the master forger's quarters. And neither has a way in from up here. In fact, this is a dead end as far as the raft is concerned. But we can make a nice pool of darkness for ourselves. And it looks to me like a rope here would end up nicely situated above the carpet. Just have to wait for our friend here to come and go. There he is. Turn around, good sir. And the word went before. Alright, so ready I should ready the uh, First. Here we are. Let's hope I'm quick enough. Alright, there is no one in here. And nobody saw or heard me enter. I'll do for now. There is nothing in the chest. What is this? Oh, this is still tile. Should be careful. And we have a little more loot, but nothing of greater significance. Candles. Ah, oh, nothing behind the banners. These priests are uh, rather ascetic. They have shelves with nothing at all on them. Right, let's stand where it is darkest. It's not very dark. It annoys me. Well, maybe I should listen for this guy retreating. Comes. <clears throat> it's right here. <clears throat> and 
just turn around and walk your way. Good. Uh, I should never have locked the door behind me. Well, the master forger is in his room, sleeping. Very quiet. I shall not be noticed. Let us. Hmm. It's locked. I'm afraid he might hear me. Identify thyself. Well, he did. But uh, he'll probably think it was a dream. And uh, you'll wonder why he has a, such a headache in the morning. Like almost everybody else. Uh, just some gold. Just a thief passing by, stealing everything of value, as little as it is. What does it say? Master Forger Canthus. I have finished my preliminary questioning of the suspect, but to no avail. He still claims innocence, and the evidence so far is only circumstantial. I need more if I am to press charges. As you know, Brother Lucas is a highly respected member of the clergy. This investigation is not simple, as the deceased was not a popular man. I am meeting little cooperation in my pursuit of the truth. I wouldn't have been surprised if half the station pushed him over, were it not that they do not all fit on the balcony. I shall continue my investigation and keep you updated. Officially, Brother Naticus, Investigator. Okay, uh, does anything else in here? Doesn't really look like it. Nothing to incriminate this guy. Um, oh, that's right, we have the notes from Lucas's mistress. Were they in the priest's quarters? Uh, we had the other notes from... The note from Brother Lucas, not the invitation. Not the door. Uh, that, that, uh, I'm gonna find him if he says it's just the room in, uh, hidden in a secret compartment in my room. What's Brother Lucas's room? Is it on the map? I guess he was a priest, that's right. So it should be there. going. So hard to tell. Oh, he's definitely going now. You know what, I might just uh, greet him with a knock on the head when he next comes by, if he's within blackjack range. All this sneaking is uh, just a little too tiresome. You want to step this way, sir? No? Oh, alright. A box on my head, etc, etc. Uh, so there should be a switch near the windows to Brother Lucas's secret compartment. I should have looked more carefully when I was in here. There we go, there we are. Aha! And some money. And the letter from Lucas's mistress. Shall we pry? Last night was wonderful, my darling Lucas. The bracelet is so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When will I see you again? I miss you already. Your Giselle. I have been thinking about you, Tiger. I have to go visit my mother tonight, but I'll be free tomorrow. Can we meet then? Your little kitten, Giselle. My little lucky wucky, Lucky wucky. I miss you. It's been so long since our last night together. Come to me tonight. I'll wear that red little thing you like so much. Lots of kisses. Your Giselle. Yeah, so I can see how that would be incriminating for a priest of the hammers why you wish it not to be found. Here comes our friend again. Ah, he seems to be walking away. Yeah, all these bloody tile floors, really, really. Well, if I stand here, I can certainly knock him out. There's no one else to observe. And it would save me a lot of bother. I was going about creeping here and there. 
and there are bloody other guards walking around or standing around to see me and get in the way. So I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't need to knock out every guard in the place, but this fellow is particularly problematic for me. I always misjudge that first swing. Alright, just rest in the corner there. You'll be fine. I'll leave my rope there in case I need a quick exit. Now, where are we on the map? We've checked the Master Fortress courses and got no further clues. We have checked the courses of the priest and got no further clues, but we did succeed on our objective in finding the notes from Lucas's mistress. But we have not destroyed them yet. And the quarters of the guards is the next, maybe the next place to search, or the, the infirmary. The infirmary is where the man uh, who examined the body first was. So he might have some clues for us. Somebody walking around somewhere. Let's hope it's not right here. There's someone awake. Is that the? Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Vigilance <laughs> is the key, and sleep is the lock. That made no sense. Uh, does he have a name? No, he's just an unconscious body. All right. Well, I have to be quiet. Uh, I thought this was a tile floor, but it does seem to be stone, so I was lucky that I didn't wake that fellow. But... We can... Avoid needing such luck. Oh dear. Now I don't need luck. Alright, what is, what is this note you though thou hast written and cast into thy waste paper basket? Lemon, could you take a look at Gerald, the acolyte responsible for the chandeliers? He looked awfully pale and nervous this morning. I was worried he might faint. If he'd lose consciousness while he is up on the rafters looking after the chandeliers, he might fall down and injure himself, or worse. It could just be that he was upset about hearing the news of Brother Melon today, as we all are, but I'd appreciate it if you would make sure it's nothing more. Let me know if you think he should be relieved of his duties for a few days. Brother Lucas. Wait, that was addressed to Gerald. No, to Lemon. So this must be Lemon. Uh, I think we saw mentioned in the investigator's diary. Makes sense, he was talking about the infirmary. Healing potion, nice. Anything up there? Probably not. What's this book say? Patient, Brother Gador, engineer. Injuries. Hands, forearm and chest badly burnt from accidental explosion of machinery during testing. Multiple small lacerations caused by shrapnel from the explosion. Treatment, small pieces of metal removed from wounds. Burns, treatment treated with St. Ender's ointment. Patient kept in deep sleep with drafts of lime water until the most painful stage is over. Hmm, I wonder why that's, if that's why he didn't wake up. Prognosis, patient's injuries are not critical and he will make a solid recovery. It is yet uncertain whether he will regain full use of his left hand. Well, no notes on our uh, deceased fellow. Yeah, that is Brother Lemon, the infirmary. And you guys hide nothing behind your banners. Why have banners at all? You don't need to advertise in your own place. Uh, let's just go up here. Let's just check, get a better look at the top shelf. But I see nothing. And I did not miss anything there. Okay. Did I miss anything in here? Let's just, just look around. I don't think so. Maybe I'll see better with the lights on. Doesn't really look to be any sign of secrets of any kind, alright. Good night, brother Lemon. Sleep soundly. 
Oh yeah, that's good. This is stone and that's tile. Yeah, the difference is quite crystal clear. I was just not paying attention. So, is there anyone in uh, the guards' quarters here? They might see me when I open the door. Is there anyone in here at all? I hear no snoring. Seems clear. Where did everyone go? What are they hiding in their chests? Maybe they have loot. More important than clues, surely. Loot. A gas arrow? Oh, that could be handy. Especially in an emergency, if I'm being chased, I'd rather gas them than really flashbang them, I guess. So, and I've already wasted one flashbang by mistake. What's this note say? I'm sure you have heard about Brother Merlon's death. I doubt you grieve for him, for I certainly don't. I must say I'm not surprised that his days ended in this way, considering all he did in the past. Remember the arrest of that heretic, Simon? I found the man and made the arrest, but Merlon took all the credit. What was I to do? He was my superior, if only as far as the ranks go. Indeed, someone just gave him what he deserved. May the Builder have mercy on his soul, for few here will. Trevor. Well, someone else who dislikes him. Now, of course, we are looking for this ring. <laughs> I think of it. That Merlon had, that the, presumably the murderer made off with. No one really has any place to store secrets, except Brother Lucas somehow in the secret compartment, but everyone else's uh, place seems pretty uh, spartan. You should be surprised if the guards have any secrets in here, and there's uh, what, eight of them bunking in the same room. You never get access to a secret compartment. Uh, there's only two in the priest's room as far as I recall. Right. Okay, where to now? So we've searched the infirmary and the room beside it. We've searched the quarters of the guards and the priests and the master forger. Although perhaps he's still hiding something there, you know, never know. He would definitely have privacy to hide things. We have not been to the garden or the chapel. Uh, or we have been to the loft. We have not been to the quarters of the engineers and that's significant. Uh, it needs a key that I still do not have. I sh probably need to go back to the workshops to destroy these notes. I don't know how else to do it. We should check the chapel if we can. And we should check the garden. Where's access to the garden? That's from the main hallway up here. Uh, well, without this guard patrolling back and forth here, I'll make my way over here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's somebody trying to get through. Well, I, mean, I can help them, but uh, not if they spy me. It doesn't really make it very much darker, does it? Uh, maybe dark enough. Only way to help them out of there is to open the door. It's too far away. Who is there? Is maybe, someone there? Maybe night be day one. Well, you would see me. And he's going off that way, but uh, it's not a very dark corner. I'm afraid I might be spotted if I move. So I have to try and get him as he comes back without him seeing me first. Standing guard outside the library, still whistling away there. Tread softly on this tile. Maybe I should use a moss arrow here, as it's a, perhaps a useful passage, useful corner to lay people in. I have moss arrows, I've got several, I can spare one. Yay, quiet. I'll creep over this because it's simply just the, uh, the short piece before it's wood. The wood is nice and quiet. There is someone in here, right? <clears throat> yes, definitely. No footsteps. I hope they won't see me the instant I open the door. No, they seem to be looking away. And standing on carpet, no less. Hello! Sleep well. 
know not who thou be, but now thou must sleep among the pubers. Fountain, we have gold and more gold. We have a book, presumably more scripture nonsense. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 36. Time once past, the harlot did say to the priest, Tarry a while and wait upon thy duties. And the priest did tarry. And then was the harlot scourged with birch branches, and was the priest crushed beneath the great gears. For the path of righteousness leads ever upwards to where it is perilous to fall. Well, Brother Lucas was not kidding about the uh, punishment for priests who were found to be dallying with uh, the women. I don't know whether the mechanists uh, turned out to be any better in this regard, but uh, unlike the Hammerites, they did at least allow women members in their ranks, although presumably they also frowned on dalliances. However, here we are in the chapel. There's some beams up there, and I'm inclined to go take a look, but there's no other sign of clues. What have been clue like? Well, this is really just uh, fulfilling my curiosity and crossing all T's and dotting all the I's. Can I... Or dotting the T's and crossing the I's. This uh, might be more correct. Can I jump across there safely? Nope. But I don't hurt myself, and I don't think there's anything over there. So, the chapel is a bust. Let us try the garden. And for the garden, we want that main hallway, and I think I want to go back to my room. At least initially. Thank you. I've still got two repairs. I'll leave that one. I know it's there. It may come in handy. I don't remember where things are here. Uh, south of the dining hall, north towards the main gates, and uh, door to the garden. Alright, so he's actually watching the door of the garden, basically. That's the door of the garden. It's dark. Right in front of the door. Maybe I should try to knock him out. Maybe I should try to knock him out. I can get into the library. I have the library key. So there's no one. Again. Yeah. Let's let's put him to sleep. Uh, it's just easier. I wail and gnash my teeth all the time. Good sir. Alright, so, creep over the tiles, and walk up the stairs. Now, we have the key to these doors, so assuming he does not become alerted as the doors behind him open... That protects us from the squalid past. Good. Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Blackjack is my we weapon, with which I carve a path to a shadowy future without reparates such as the to give me grief. Is there someone else moving around? I thought I heard someone talking. Well, not here. We have another banner. Which I can't reach. Come on. I was trying not to step off the carpet, but I had to. I don't No one may leave I want a power station until the murderer of Brother Merlon has been brought to justice. If you have any needs to attend to outside of the station complex, please address them to Brother Tarius, my personal escort, who has authorized you to come and go from the station. Brother Naticus, investigator. Yeah, main gate, high water library, yes, yes, yes. So that's the way to the garden. Okay. Now it's locked. Can I pick the lock? No. Alright. So. 
Yeah, he still doesn't see my head. He should be the one around. Blah 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 blah. Is that? That's the lift button. Is that the light? That is the light. Nice darkness. So I've been everywhere here. I've been everywhere here, and I've been everywhere here and there. I have not been to the base, uh, to the garden, and I have not been to the engineer's quarters. And both appear to need a key, and I do not think I have the key. These rosary beads, I don't know what they're for. Uh, yeah, no garden key, no engineer's key. Uh, I also need, do need to go destroy these notes from my brother Lucas as Mistress Giselle, uh, which I shall do shortly. Uh, but for now, I am going to cut this episode here, and I will see you shortly for the next episode, which hopefully will be the last of this mission. See you soon.